Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Kayla and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I am so excited to be doing this thrift haul. This is probably going to be my last thrift haul until my birthday, which is March 29th. And just because everything going on with the coronavirus and, you know, everybody kind of being on lockdown and everything like that. Um, as of right now in St. Louis, our thrift stores are still open, some of them. Some of them are closed from what I've been told. But this is a huge bins haul from Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I pretty much just went to the bins. Yes, I'm being careful. Yes, I'm washing my hands. I'm actually wearing gloves now. If you like follow me on Instagram, I do not wear gloves to the bins. I just really wash my hands. But I've been wearing gloves, mask, everything, just going more than extra mile. I know a lot of people do that anyway when they go to the bins. So yeah. But this is just going to be a really good size thrift haul. I've got about 50 pounds here, so I'm really excited. And I've got kids clothes, women's, men's, and we're just going to jump into it. So it's going to be a nice, very big thrift haul. And, you know, whether you're listing during this or sharing your closet, just something to listen to, background noise. That's totally cool. If anything, I really hope that this helps somebody else learn brands. This is the way that I learn brands is watching other YouTubers and, inst and following Instagram accounts. So yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here we go. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay. So first things first I picked up were these mini Bowden, like blue, what is this called? Not khaki, corduroy, straight pants, super cute, no stains on them love those and I'm loving like the teal color right now the next kid thing that I got is this I always screw this name up Iviva Eviva the Lululemon kids brand this is just a sports bra it's like pulling upside down this is just a little sports bra oh and I forgot to say the sizes so this one I believe doesn't have a size so I'm gonna have to measure it but I would say it's like a medium large and then these Bowden pants I believe are a size yep nine nine years old so this next thing that I got are these little kids Lily Pulitzer elephant shorts you guys these are so cute and these are a size six adorable little shorts for spring and summer this next piece is another Iviva Eviva and this one does have a size tag it's a size eight and these are just black little joggers I think that's what it would be I'm not exactly sure but they have some ruching right there on the side super cute this next piece is a vineyard vine size small which is a seven to eight and it has some anchors on it. it's a little pullover perfect for you know sailing season or anything like that but i love those love those little sail anchor things they're cute sail anchor things this next piece that I got is actually from Target, but I picked it up because of the style and it's a really cute bathing suit. So it's got this like cut out on the stomach and then it ties up here and it's got like a little tie, faux tie right there in the front and it's very high waisted. So this is a Morona swimsuits gingham and this is a size small. This next piece that I got, I probably got for like 10, 20 cents, not even. And it is a Ted Baker um, tie, men's tie. And it just has like a circle design all over it. Nothing's wrong with it. When it comes to ties, like you can't not pick them up. Like they're so cheap. So this next brand I normally don't pick up. I actually picked this up because of the color and I know it will do well, but I normally take this brand to Plato's Closet, but right now they have closed buying completely. I think the store is still open, but our Plato's Closet has completely stopped buying. So, um, but yeah, so I thought it'd be worth a shot to at least list online and it is this really pretty Victoria Sport, uh, or I can't, can't talk, Victoria Sport, which is Victoria's Secret and it is a let's see 34 double d super cute and it's got like a really nice back deal detail to it nothing's wrong with it a lot of times these are pretty ruined so yeah to see this in good condition makes me super super happy these next two pieces are kids pieces and they're both the same size this is a mini bowden nine to ten year old little jumpsuit super cute love the highlighter yellow and neon colors really like trending for spring for like adults and juniors so I thought that would be super cute to put on Poshmark and then I also got this other like I said mini Bowden 9 to 10 years old and this one is adorable as well 
got a gorgeous spring print on it and it's got like the same little uh hem detail just a different print and this one actually does have oh yeah it's got like little bunnies on it so if you guys know anyone who's nine to ten that this would fit it's so cute i love it ah, all the kid clothes get me this next piece that i got is a tank top and it is striped it's more like a camel color like a white and camel color button up super cute and this is by the brand nsr which i think is like revolve um like it's on revolve and that like that website i can't think of what it's called right now but i am gonna double check that's the main reason that i picked it up um because the comments were pretty good on it so i think i've seen in other videos I will check. I'll put something here if I figured it out or not. But either way, still cute and it's a super simple like spring piece. And this is a size medium. Okay, so the next thing I know everyone tries to look for their Poshmark closet and that is plus plus size clothing. And I am a 1X. I'm like a 14, 16 and everything normally. Sometimes I fit into 2Xs. It depends on what it is. Um, my sheen, like my sheen haul that I've had that I need to upload. Um, I did order 2X on there, but that is a Chinese website. Everything kind of runs kind of small. So they always recommend to go up a size. But this is Catherine's and I just wanted to be kind of picking up some cuter, bigger plus size clothing because plus size clothing can be kind of boring sometimes. Like everyone kind of has the tunic style. Everyone's got all these different styles. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick this up and it'd be fun for um, a vacation for sure. And like I said, this is Catherine's. It's a 3X and it's super cute. It's got like this boho design to it, raw hem. Super cute, be a really cute beach cover up. Okay guys, so the next piece that I got is this ASO swimsuit. And it is a one piece and it's completely covered in the front. It does have like a high waist cut right there as you can see. And then on the back, let me show you guys the back. It's kind of open right there. So that's super cute, but this is where it gets confusing. It is ASOS, but it says 36 triple D slash F. Now you can be any size and have a size of a chest size like smaller or bigger it doesn't matter so I'm not sure how to really determine that sizing I will be putting measurements of this on my uh listing so keep an eye out for that if you're interested and I thought I did see oh here we go there is like a small little stain right here it looks like somebody marked it with like a marker so I'll definitely disclose that but yeah super cute swimsuit this next piece that I got is from Urban Outfitters and it is the kimchi blue line so and it is a size medium and this is super cute because it's got like a little cutout detail in the front and it's just a fit and flare black and gray or black and white sorry design dress super cute this next piece that i got is probably one of my favorite skirts i've really ever seen it's by urban outfitters it's a size large and it's just this little mini I don't know if it's a mini skirt. I'm going to have to measure it to see exactly. But I love the floral design on it. Kind of reminds me of like a vintage feel and like a boho-esque. And I like the hem. Or not the hem. Yeah, the hem. Because it kind of like, it's just a little more, it's not as fitted. It's more flowy. So, super cute. Okay, I got two of these mod cloth dresses and they were together and here's the first one and I'm really excited because these are plus size they're a size 1x I actually want to try these on just to see how they fit and this one's got like a gingham plaid print super cute and it does have a belt I don't know if you guys can see that and I believe that hold on let me see let me see let me see I thought it was new with tags one of them is new with tags so let me see if I can find it Okay, so this one is not the one new with tags, but it's still really cute. And the way that like this falls in the front, so it would actually kind of lay like that. There we go. Super cute, you guys. I love this so much. This is a really pretty plus size dress. Okay, guys, so this next piece is a Athleta Girl. It's a size medium. Yep, medium. And I don't know if these are joggers or like straight pants, like straight leg pants. They have a little zipper on them, but joggers I know like kind of cinch at the ankle so I don't think they're joggers I think they're just like straight sweatpants so those are super cute this next piece that I got I'm not going to be able to show entirely because it's a maxi dress 
but it is by uh, Market and Spruce, which is by Stitch Fix. So it's brand new with tags, doesn't have a, a price tag on it, but it does have those two tags. So yeah, and it is a size medium. And we're just gonna, okay. So there's the front. I do wanna show the back really quick while I'm holding it like this. So it's got like this crisscross detail, it's really pretty. And then it goes into this gray and pink maxi dress. Super cute, nothing wrong with it, no stains or anything like that. Okay, so this is the Mod Cloth uh, 1X dress, the other one that I was just talking about when I showed you guys uh, the gingham one. And this one is new with tags, doesn't have a price or anything on it. Um, and like I said, it is 1X and this is so pretty. So it's got like this higher, whoops, it's got this higher collar and then it goes down into this like color block green dress and it kind of has like a high-low hem. So make sure you guys can see that super pretty i love this i'm tempted to wear this for my birthday even though like we're quarantined <laughs> but i just i love this dress and i think it's absolutely adorable and i love where this kind of hits um kind of like mid i feel like it would be kind of at your waist so yeah super cute and like i said brand new with tags now this next piece i will be running kind of like um even cheaper price on it because i realized when i bought it that the zipper i'll show you guys is broken so it is an aloe jacket and this zipper right here so if somebody could fix it totally up your alley go for it but i will show you guys the jacket i didn't realize so after i got it home that it had been broken see so yeah, a super cute jacket adorable and i believe it says aloe it does i don't know if you guys can see that there you go aloe on the zipper and then on the back got aloe right there and this does not have a size tag on it but I will uh, make sure to measure it and like I said I will be throwing a discounted price on this so if you're interested let me know because of that broken zipper next piece that I got I did not know I knew Vineyard Vines had like XL and women's but I didn't know Vineyard Vines went up to XXL and men's so I know that sounds kind of stupid, but sometimes a lot of those like straight size companies, they don't have a lot of plus size options, like even for guys. So it's got the whale and this is just a quarter zip. Um, I, be I believe there aren't any stains on this. Um, with the ring light, it helps me to see and I'm not seeing any stains. Next piece that I got is a torrid piece and this is a torrid size one. And I'm tempted to keep this. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but it's really pretty. It's just like this little tank top and it's got flowers on it with a gray background. And it is, like I said, a torrid size one if you are interested. I love this. This is so freaking cute. This would be really cute with some jeans and like some like strappy ankle uh, like heels. Be really cute. Now this, I wanted to try on, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, it depends on if it fits or not, but it actually reminds me, here, I'll show you guys the print first. So it actually reminds me of a free people dress that I see very often with this in like embroidered detail on it and it's white and black. And this is actually Umji, which is normally like a boutique brand and it's Umji Plus, so it's an XL. I'm gonna see if it fits. I kind of held it up to like me at the bends and it looked like it would fit pretty well. So I will let you guys know. If not, this will be in my Poshmark closet or if you're interested, I guess I do need to sell it. But just let me know and I'll let you guys know how it fits too, like over on Instagram. Okay, so the next thing, I got two of them, but they are a little different and I'll show you guys. So Hannah Anderson is a kid's brand. If you did not know, I will show you guys the tag now this is star wars for hannah anderson so the tag's gonna have star wars right here but that cursive right there that's like the hannah anderson um logo for like the kid items and i actually got this size this is a size 130 and this has got um the millennium falcon and a tie fighter i'm trying to like think if i got that right if will watches this video and i don't get the star wars things right he's going to kill me but yeah i found these and guys i found this i found hold on let me show you these little like underwear like boy shorts so freaking cute and these are 130 and they are 100 percent organic cotton so that's why a lot of uh parents like hannah anderson they've got really good quality products and then 
This one as well is a size, oh no, this one's a size 120, so it's a size smaller. And this one's got Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper. Like, come on. Like, I've never seen a Star Wars piece so freaking cute. And I don't have any kids. And Will, if you guys do not know, Will is obsessed with Star Wars. Like, obsessed with Star Wars. And I had never seen Star Wars in my life until he started watching it. And it makes me so mad because now, like, I'm into it too. So, like, it's a really good movie. Like, the whole series is really good. The whole thing is really good. But, yeah, these are 100% Organicon as well. And there's nothing wrong with these. So, they're just little shorts. Same print. So, yeah, if you are interested in either of these two sets, just let me know. I wish I could keep them, but I don't have a kid. So, Okay, this next piece I would not normally pick up, but I picked it up because of the style of it. It is a loft size small, but this embroidery or like flower lace detail is super cute. Loving the tassels and love that this is like a contrasting uh, blouse print. So this has got like a smaller flower detail and then these flowers down here are a lot bigger. So yeah, adorable. This next piece is made well, and this is a size extra small. Love the, like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it would be considered polka dots. It's gray polka dots with a color black, blue, like a navy blue and black. And this does have, I don't know if you guys can see it. It needs to be a uh, sweater shaved, just a little bit, not much, but yep, super adorable. This next piece is a Bowden piece. And let's see if I can find the tag, it is a size Eight regular and this kind of has like a scoop neck to it and this is a maxi dress as well it's a navy blue so this part's a little bit more ruched and then it just goes into the maxi dress love this dress so much and this will be um measured and everything over my Poshmark closet just like everything else I keep repeating that everything will be measured and everything will be in my Poshmark closet <laughs> This next piece that I got, I think is an older Pins and Needles piece, which Pins and Needles is a Urban Outfitters brand, I believe. And this is a size large and it has the 66170. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's not gonna focus, but if you look on the RN of pieces and it says 66170, if you did not know, that means it's either Anthropology, Free People, Urban Outfitters, what, that whole entire like mother brand. Um, that means that it belongs to it. Not every piece has that 66170 number though. That's what I've learned as far as like my research goes, but every, everybody will say something a little different, but yeah. So this is just a blue, like little mini dress with florals on it. And then this cute little like ruffled hem detail. Absolutely love this. This next piece is made well. And let's see. Oh, yep, Madewell size large. Or Madewell size large. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And it's just this color black blouse. And I did notice when I got home, there it is. There's like a mark right there. I don't know if it needs to be washed. I don't know. I might just put it in the listing. We shall we shall see. But I'll tell you what, if you have just got into reselling or you're new to it. Everything I get from the bins, I expect at least a few items to be flawed when I get home, even after checking them and looking at them, because you can't see everything. The bins lighting sucks, so it's really hard to see, you know, any flaws or anything like that. So just expect them, because <laughs> they will come up. This next piece is actually from PacSun, and normally I would take this to Play-Dohs, but I'm trying this thing while we're on quarantine, um, since Play-Dohs closet is kind of closed right now, to see how this will do, because... Um, it is a mini skirt, but these roses are all embroidered. So it's on the front and then it's on the back as well. So, and it's got a raw hem. So I will let you guys know how it does. I don't expect to get a lot for this. Maybe right around 20 bucks. We shall see. Oh, I didn't say the size. This is a size 23. The next piece that I got is a baby Bowden. So I guess mini Bowden's like kids and then baby Bowden is like babies obviously. I don't know why I just, I just said that, but I just, I remember when I saw this tag, when I picked it up and I was like, oh, baby boat. And like, I was actually thrown off a little bit because I've never seen like the baby one, but this is 12 to 18 months. 
and it's just a little sweater dress and it has this adorable little owls on it love this i was watching somebody i don't remember who it was on youtube saying that like the appliques or like like big designs on the baby bowden pieces go for a little bit more so when i saw this i definitely had to pick it up so i heard a little rumor about this e shikati brand it says custom i heard that they were a plus size brand i don't know who i heard it from or where i heard it from i probably watched it on a youtube video but this is like a blouse and it's got <clears throat> some embroidery right here and then this part ties right there super cute and then it's fitted at the waist and it kind of flares out it almost looks like a mini dress too so i'm gonna measure it and see and kind of do some research but i honestly being at the bins i just grabbed it now normally like i said this would probably be something i take to the bins or not to the bins but to play-dohs we're gonna see if it's worth anything or if it's worth putting on poshmark this is probably like my favorite no it's not my favorite but it's definitely one of my favorite pieces from this haul and this is a burberry brit xl t-shirt and i have the sleeves rolled so both sleeves are rolled let me unroll because i don't really know if it's supposed to be rolled if it's a women's if it's a men's i'm not sure but that's what it looks like with it unrolled super nice black t-shirt the only thing is we have a tiny tiny like flaw right there it's not a hole it looks like it's just a really light stain and on camera camera is actually picking up way more it's not that like um noticeable on the shirt so yeah we shall see but i was so excited to find this i haven't found burberry brit in a minute um so yeah excited to find that this next piece i wouldn't normally pick up but it is an xl and it's like a light sweater and which would be perfect for spring and it's got this neutral color to it hold on i gotta fix the sleeves i should have done this before this video so it's just got like little that little sleeve detail and then it's got like a hem like a neutral hem color to it like a nude so yeah super cute and that's the logo by Lori goldstein schmeen schmeen Lori goldstein there we go yeah size xl <clears throat> now this next piece is so pretty um i think this is probably one of my favorite bowden pieces ever so this is a size 10 large or 10 large geez this is a size 10 long by bowden and it's just this beautiful olive green navy blue like magenta floral maxi dress and i love the sleeves as well because the sleeves do button and it's just got this really pretty like hem as well and this does have loops for a belt but i do not have the belt unfortunately i could not find it at the bins but i did find the slip to it so same color it goes right under it and it's just a slip dress and this is a size 10 long as well love this and slip dresses are really in so this could even be worn by itself but i am gonna sell them together just because i really do believe it belongs to that dress but i've seen people wearing slip dresses and it's a really cute style really cute style now this next piece i picked up is a victoria's secret swimsuit and i did tie it but it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to hold it okay there we go so it's just got this really pretty paisley print all over it and then on the back it just uh hooks right there and then ties and this is a size i don't even know the size tag went oh here it is Doo -doo -doo -doo. this is a size 36d so that's a really common size and a lot of people love victoria swim so i thought i'd pick that up i don't expect to make much off of it this next piece that i got are these lululemon leggings and these are this is definitely an older style there's a little, little little lemon tag on the side and it's got some ruching and then the front detail. There's no flaws on these whatsoever that I could find. I will definitely check over them when I do measurements. And this is a size six. I don't know if you guys see it. There we go. So yeah. This next brand I normally do take to Play-Dohs, but I didn't want to leave it at the bins. It is a size large. The logo is in really good condition. The logo on the back is in really good condition. And it is the Lucy top. And the uh, print of this is really pretty. It's green and it's got floral print all over it and all over the back. And this back detail is like, like this. So yeah, super cute. Okay, this next piece is a Eliza J dress. This is a size eight. I actually stopped picking up this brand for a minute 
And let me show you guys the dress really quick. So it's got like this um, double hem to it. It's really pretty, really pretty green. But I actually picked it up because it is brand new with tags from Nordstrom. So I thought I could at least make a pretty good profit off of it. I'm not exactly sure what I'll be making off of them. I haven't sold, like I said, sold Eliza J in a minute. So yeah, super cute. Okay, so now I'm stuck because I don't know if the Burberry Brit was my favorite or this Patagonia, hold on, this Patagonia men's jacket was my favorite. So I can't believe I freaking found this. I absolutely love it. It's in this like caramel color and great condition. Oh, we might have a stain. Yeah, there's something going on there. I might be able to clean it though. It definitely looks like it's on top of the fabric and then the back of it, let me show you guys. And this is a size large. So excited. These go for a really good amount of money. Don't know off the top of my head, but it is a men's large, just in case anybody was wondering. The pile's getting high. I keep having to push it down. These next pieces are all soft surroundings. I've got three of them, but I want to show you guys my favorite. So this one is soft surroundings and it is a medium, but the embroidery on this sweatshirt, like, oh my gosh, with a sweater and it's on the sleeves as well. Guys, this is completely like embroidered on and sewn on and it's like patched and then like sewn, like embroidered over. I think that would be the, like an applique almost. Super cute. Absolutely love that. And there's no details on the back whatsoever, but yeah. This next piece, like I said, is soft surroundings as well. This is an XL and this is like a tunic. This is just printed on like a floral design long sleeve super cute and then this last piece that soft surroundings is an XL as well and this is a tunic style too and I would say that it's like a floral print as well yeah so really pretty red two-tone red cut and this one I think I'm gonna list for lower because it's kind of sticking to its fabric but we'll see whenever I go to list it I don't see, I see a little bit of pilling, but not much. So yeah. The next piece I got based on style. And I know like band tees are really popular right now, but I thought this was kind of like a simple cute little band tee. It's by Junk Food. It's a size large. And it says the Beatles with a peace sign. And then it says always and forever. And then we have like a little uh, like fl or flare, I can't talk, flare short sleeve hem. So yeah, super cute. Everything's super cute. <laughs> Okay, this next piece that I got, I just wanted to try this out to see if it would sell or not. Since I can't take it to Play-Doh's, it is Calvin Klein leggings. And these are a size large. And these have, right there, Calvin. And then it says Klein on the back. It's kind of hard to see. Performance around the leg. And it's only on one leg. It's not on the other. So, yeah. Super cute. Nothing wrong with them. Just maybe under 20 bucks sale. Okay, this next piece is a free people and there's a little gold bar and then this is doo -doo -doo -doo, size large. Now this is really pretty. It's like this oversized um, dolman sleeve cropped knitted. I'm like trying to think of all the keywords. Super pretty. I love this and it's very it's like definitely like heavier, but it's also lightweight. So like you could wear a bralette under this and it would be really cute. So yeah, there's that. Okay, this next piece is also a uh, Lori Goldstein and I thought this was cute and simple and good for fall or not for fall. Geez, I wish we were in fall, good for like spring because I have seen that some people like to wear like long sleeves or like three, four sleeve and then like shorts. Um, or like tuck things in, but this is more of like a tunic style. So it's got this like lace and then like the sheer detail on the bottom. And like I said, just long sleeve, no stains or anything on it. And it is a size large once again. Okay, so this next piece is Lululemon. Let me see if I can find the logo. Okay, so these are like Lululemon work pants and we don't have a size dot anywhere or a size tag. So I'm gonna do some research on them. I'm looking everywhere. I think they might be, I don't know if they're, they've got to be women's. 
but yeah and it does have it doesn't have too many logo like it has logos on the zippers and stuff but that's what gave it away to me at the bins and then I found the logo that I showed you guys but these are just like black business slacks really cute super comfortable and the next piece I actually I love to pick up American Eagle jeans um if they're high rise or really distressed and these are not high rise this is actually the artist crop and they're size eight but these have a really nice amount of distressing on them so yeah that's why i got them and then the hems are raw hem so yeah easy um 20 25 dollar flip this next piece that i got is american eagle as well but these are shorts and these are the midi shorts and they're size four love these love the distressing that's why i got those these next shorts are kimchi blue and they are a size zero. Probably won't get more than 20 bucks for these, but with all the detail, I know festival seasons like can't like civil and I know festival season has pretty much been canceled, but this is super cute still for the spring and summer, um, like trends and everything like that. And they're white and then they've got like the same like lace detail all over on the back and those are a size zero. Now these are really popular and these are airy, these are size medium and these were actually, I did check the date code and these are only like from last year so they tie at the waist and they have that um, paper bag hem detail and then they're like, uh, what is this called, like rolled hem down here. They're really cute and really soft and they're like a chambray detail and they stretch so I thought those would be super cute and on trend for sure. The next thing that I got are these Adriana Goldschmied, the Matchbox Slim Straight. These are size 29, so I think these would be guys, I believe. I'm gonna have to check. I'm not too familiar with uh, his styles, but yeah, super nice black. Nothing wrong with them at all. And then here's back. Love these. And I love like the color to them, like the black shininess. This next piece that I got are really cute. I wish they were a size 12 because I would totally keep them. These are Lululemon. And I believe these are like the speed shorts. I might be wrong, but they're this gorgeous mauve color. They have the liner in them. There's nothing wrong with them. And we do have the tag as well, size six. And I think the size dot, yeah, we do have a size dot on the back as well. So yeah, adorable. Love these, love this color. These will go fast because of the color. Next piece that I got is American Eagle. Like I told you guys, I like I like picking up American Eagle. I really do. And these are the High Rise Festival shorts, and they are size six. So these are my favorite shorts to pick up. They seem to go the fastest, and they are distressed as well. So I love those, and then I love the back distressing and the hem as well. This next piece that I got, I believe these are. Yep, they are. They're Lululemon size eight. And these, I believe, are like work pants as well because they've got like little, um, like this for a belt almost. And the logo is right there. And we don't have any logos on the bottom, but they are like straight hem gray space type pants. This piece is a J, a J. Crew piece, and I'm really picky with J. Crew just because some of them like will do well and some of it won't. But when I looked at this style, it looked like it was doing pretty well. And this is the J. Crew Rider. These are like slacks size six and they're just straight leg slacks super cute black and then they've got like faux pockets on the back so this next piece that i got is an extra small small and is a lululemon oversized cardigan super cute i love this so oversized and fun and there is a logo here it is it's like way down here oh here we go so there's that absolutely love this heavy perfect for like being inside um or for you know the next fall season but that's an extra small small love this so i swear i have just a few more pieces we're almost done but i wanted to show you guys these overalls now these are like an olive green they're by asos they've got like this raw hem and it looks like let's see okay that one was there so we can get this on really quick my bad Oh, it's actually broke. So I'm actually going to just toss this to the side. I didn't realize this was broke. So yeah, let me just put those. So yeah, that's the reality of thrift hauls is you find things that are broke. But I do have another pair. And these are black. These are by Topshop. 
and I absolutely love these. So cute. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so these are by Topshop, like I said, and these are a size 8, USA size 8. Yeah. So, super cute. And then you go into the bottom, and then they're actually all like they might be cropped. So, yeah, I'm excited about that because they do not, they definitely don't go all the way pants length because here's the top and then here's the bottom. So, yeah, we shall see. But these are super cute. And I saw in a couple uh, Walmart videos that I listened to just on, like, trends and styles. Um, I saw that a lot of people were picking up overalls. Like, they wanted some overalls for the spring season. So, glad I picked those up. And then this is another pair of American Eagle. And these are high-rise jeggings. And these are size 6. And these are a short style. But they do have, like, distressing on the knees. So, super cute. Easy, easy flip. And then I believe this is the last piece. And this is Not Your Daughter's Jeans, size 8. I'm actually really picky about this brand, but these are in, or, uh, Lena leggings. And they're black. And they've just got like a nice straight hem to them. So I thought that would be a nice little flip. Okay, guys, that was the last item. I really hope you guys enjoyed this really big haul. I found a lot of good things, and I hope you guys love seeing some new brands or just, like, looking at what I'm picking up. If not, definitely go on to Instagram. I'll leave the link down in the uh, description below. Follow me on Instagram. Let's be friends. I love to be friends over there. And other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.